Hi everyone, hi to my friends, hi to my loved ones. Life is big and today I've come back to you with lots of wanting. As I got ready for this talk, I felt a nice and deep feeling inside and I asked God with all honesty to share this nice feeling from me to you. How happy are you with your life? Do you really feel like you're living the life you want? Do you have times when you feel calm, peaceful and okay with yourself? I always ask myself these questions at every part of my life. I question if I'm enjoying the moments as they come. Am I thankful for what I have like my health, family and friends? Do I make the most of each day? These kinds of thoughts are important. They can help us appreciate life and choose to be positive. Maybe there are things we'd like to change, but accepting what is out of our control helps bring more peace. I hope sharing makes us all think on how to love life and find the beauty in each new day. Let's inspire each other to keep our hearts open and happy. I always ask myself some questions. Am I happy with the life I'm living? Do I feel like I've achieved something in my life? Do I feel like I've chosen the right friends in my life? And that my choices for my life have always been good. I ask myself these things and every time I answer with acceptance and thank God that I'm completely okay and that I accept any situation in my life that happens and I always accept my existence in my life. I'm fully satisfied and I have a strong feeling that God doesn't put me on a path that's too hard for me to follow or doesn't put me in a situation that I can't adjust to. I'm a real person. I fully live my feelings. I live all the moments and feelings that I go through. I don't deny that there are days when I feel insatisfied and I feel sad and that I'm not successful. And on the other hand, there are times when I feel excited and happy. And on the other hand, there are times when I feel scared and waiting to see what will happen. Being human it means having a lot of different feelings. I accept that and trust that God has a plan for me. We all have feelings that come and go in life, but it's not normal to only feel one way and judge our whole lives based on that one feeling. The biggest problem many women face is not accepting our lives. We think we don't deserve this life and that we should have something better. We feel we don't deserve this marriage or job and that we're meant for more. So we live in a cycle of wanting more and struggling. We wait for a better life to start, but believe me, if it won't happen as long as we're not satisfied with where we are now, feeling like we don't accept our situation keeps us stuck. Finding satisfaction on the side is super important. When we can appreciate what we have in each present moment, it has break the cycle of always wanting more. Comparing ourselves to some imagined better future will only make us feel unhappy with today. Believe me, living to be content is key to enjoying our lives. I had a realization. I was comparing my past self to who I am now. What changed in me? The most important change was finding satisfaction. The big change in my life that I learned from was being content. When I believed in God's plan and I didn't reject what happened, that changed everything. I learned to accept my feelings and situation in life. When I truly accepted myself, flows and all, that's when real change began. When I truly accepted myself, flaws and all, that's when real change began. The first step to changing is self-acceptance. 
If we see our mistakes as lessons, not failures, we can reach higher levels in life. As long as we reject ourselves, we don't find inner peace or stability. How do we reject ourselves? By not being satisfied with who we are now and where we are. True happiness comes from appreciating each moment, not comparing it to some better time ahead. Believe me, this helps me stop struggling and finally be content. Many say no, we actually love ourselves and, be, and are grateful, but we feel we don't deserve this life. Who told you that? Who decided how your life should be? Remember, God put us in this life and gave us reason of everything, to be sad, happy, and to strive, but as long as you don't accept things inside, you can't move on forward. In life, in life there is a journey, and moving up requires being content with. To be content, you must accept. Say, I accept myself now with all my circumstances, mistakes, flaws, and failures. When you make peace with your life as it is, you realize you have power to change it for the better. Don't feel like you don't deserve your situation. God gave you this journey for a purpose. Inner acceptance is the key to unlocking your potential and progressing in life. Why do we refuse to live a moment reconciling with ourselves? Have you ever thought about sitting with yourself and facing the reasons for the problems in your life? Why am I not satisfied and unhappy and unsure of who I am? Be sure that you will find an answer for yourself. It is that you do not have satisfaction. How do we achieve self-satisfaction within myself? To change my thoughts, change my negative way to thinking, or get used to complaining. Believe me, anyone who gets used to complaining in their life to themselves or others will feel they must live with this feeling. Get rid of the feeling of being victim. Get rid of the feeling of complaining. Take responsibility for your life. Take responsibility for your choices. You are now in this life. Everything you experience after God's will is from your choices. You choose not to be satisfied. So accept all the consequences that will come to you after having this feeling. As long as you are not happy, satisfied, grateful and thankful for everything you have, there will be no light at the end of the tunnel. When we accept, the storms inside us will calm down. And when the storms come down, you will see things around you clearly. Your goal will become clear. The good relationships in your life will become clear. The bad people in your life will become clear. You will see. But you must sit quiet. Calm down to accept. Do not feel the feeling of injustice and that you do not deserve this life. Who dictated to you how your life should go? Who set the rules of happiness for you? Who set the rules of well-being in your life? As long as you live in grace, wellness and comfortable inner feeling, this feeling is enough for you. It is enough for you that you enjoy good health and everything that comes after it will come to you calmly. But stop. Stop complaining, grumbling and not accepting. You are killing yourself. You must achieve your inner satisfaction. Thank God, raise your head to the sky to see how this cloud is formed. How the birds sound. Be grateful for the things around you. Stop complaining and grumbling. You will see many things around you that you did not see before. Calm down. Stop the internal battles you are living. Stop the conflicts, stop the comparisons, focus on your goal and your life. Take a deep breath and then start writing down everything beautiful in your life. In your life. Learn from this moment and from this hour to accept your reality.
and to draw your own path. Don't let others dictate how to find happiness to you or focus on the lives of others and want to be a small copy of others. You don't find your value in things. Your value comes from you. No job shapes your value. No income shape your value. And no closeness to people shapes your value. Your essential self-worth is within you. You have value without owning things. You have value and God put you in this life and gave you a soul, a spirit and mind. You are the one who moves things, makes them and invents them. There is a wonderful phrase I always hear. My life was not colorful. I color it. Don't focus on the grays and blacks in life. Focus on the wonderful colors. Focus on the small details you don't know. If you look closely at your life at this moment and see what you are waiting for in your life with a look of satisfaction, you will find that you are actually satisfied with your surroundings, satisfied with your environment, satisfied with yourself and with your inner and outer appearance. And you were really satisfied and the reason for this lack of acceptance and this grumbling is perhaps that you allowed others to shape your level of satisfaction or acceptance within you. Stop letting others dictate your life. Create your own story. Be optimistic. Be optimistic until you find optimism everywhere. Search for your happiness. Your happiness is always inside you. In many places, there are people who live in the same material ways, live in the same conditions, and live the same age. But their level of satisfaction differs. Whenever you find a happy person in their life, search for their level of satisfaction. You will find that they are satisfied with everything they have. They are sure, secure in God's portion. Stop destroying, stop complaining, stop playing the victim. Focus on the fact that God put you in this life to bear fruit, to strive in a wonderful and beautiful way. Love yourself and your being. From this day on, say out loud, I'm happy with everything God has given me. I'm happy with everything God has provided me. Do not look at the shortcoming in your life. Our problem is that we always fo focus we, we always focus on the shortcomings on our lives and we wait for our cup to be filled with others. Fill your cup with yourself. You alone know the moments when you feel happy and you alone know the moments when you feel sad. Step away and leave all your feelings. Do not feel that you, you should always be happy and do not accept that you should always be sad. Accept all the feelings that you go through. Accept all the circumstances that you go through. When you allow yourself to open the window, you will see another wall. You will hear beautiful voices. Don't close the door on yourself and don't close the windows. Happiness, you are the one who makes it and chooses. This happiness is in your life. Accept and then accept until you reach contentment and any reconciliation with yourself. See you soon.